Hello and welcome to Martin Maths. We're doing a calculator question here, head of paper 2 this coming week. So we need to know how to use our calculator to find some angles and sides. And uh, we've got a trapezium here, P, Q, R, S. We know it's a trapezium because of one pair opposite sides are parallel. And it's a right angled trapezium. Um, they tell us some information. Uh, P, Q is parallel to S, R. Angle P, S, R is 90 degrees denoted by that square. P uh, R S is 62, uh, P Q is 14, and P S is 8. Now because it's parallel lines, we know that that's also going to be 62. We'll use that in a second. First thing we're going to do is work out the length of P R. So I know it's one right angle triangle that I'm dealing with here. If I label that, that's going to be the opposite. Uh, sorry, that's the hypotenuse. That's the opposite to 62. And I know that's the adjacent. The hypotenuse is always the longest side and opposite the angle and the adjacent is next to. So if I think about my trig ratios, what do I have? I have the opposite. What do I need? I need the hypotenuse. So it'll be sine. So sine of 62 is opposite over hypotenuse, which is 8 over, in this case, PR. And now notice that PR, the unknown, is in the denominator. So I can't just uh, calculate it in the, the usual way and multiply. I've got to bring the PR up and then divide by 62. So I'm using my calculator there. I can do this in one step. 8 divided by sine 62 and I get 9.0605. Now they've only asked it to uh, three significant figures. You know it's a calculator question when they ask something like three significant figures. So I need to do 9.06 now what I always like to do is see, does that answer make sense? Uh, I know the hypotenuse is the longest side, so 9.06 is longer than 8, so I think I'm on the right track. <clears throat> and it doesn't, it's not massively bigger. Um, always have an idea what your answers look like. The next question asks us to work out the length of QR. Um, now QR is this line here. So we have an included angle and the two sides. It's going to be using the cosine rule. So I'm going to work it out here just to uh, keep some of the image still in the picture. Um, now the cosine rule says that a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cos of a, and we can do this all in one step, <clears throat> especially if you know how to save that answer in your calculator. In this one there's the answer button. Um, the more modern calculators have other features. You should be able to do this all in one step, um, if not use your memories. Um, so um, I'm going to do answer and then uh, square that plus in this case it's 14 squared minus 2 times my answer um, times 14 times cos of the included angle which, which in this case was 62. Now I'm going to get an answer of 158.99 and remember that's the squared answer, so I need to take the square root of the answer. I'm going to give an answer of 12.609. 12.609. Again, they've asked us to three significant figures, so 12.6 would be sufficient. Again, have an idea, does it make sense? It's not 0, 0.0 something, it's not a million. Uh, got 14, 9 and 12 in a bit makes sense. So there's my answers. Thanks for watching. This is a trigonometry calculator exam question using the cosine rule. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.